Hey guys, Aliyah back again with another awesome game from my collection. Today we're going to be playing Hard Space Shipbreaker. This game is so awesome. They got it right this time. They found a core gameplay that is innovative, fun, and challenging, and then improved on it and refined it until it was on point. And they added some nice progression mechanics and a compelling story with enduring characters. I hope you enjoy my video and thank you so much for watching. resources, a brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation's Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. 
Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard. Heed your superiors. Believe in the Lynx vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program, the greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. Observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. Please note, as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now.
We're going to clean this crap up. I'm going to activate the furnaces. Now. Dang, dang. Would you just... There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Okay. Let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object to move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go, and move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, it'll pull you towards it. Check out your HUD when you've got an object grappled. It shows you the mass of the object and whether you can move it or not. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right, controls give me the go-ahead to get you cutting. You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. Your cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. Now it's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-G surgery cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. That's how you do it. Okay, let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor, look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate right. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right, we're in business. Now swap over your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. done getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over there. Now this base is way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. And there are no structural cut points for us to take advantage of. We're going to have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. 
Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Now try changing the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. Has everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. So sleep tight there, Cutter. Four six dash fifty two. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay, let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. Clear as mud? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out, too. All right, let's start a new shift and pick your first ship to work on.
this screen shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. look intimidating to scrap at first. Trust me, soon enough, you'll be stripping the huge gecko glass freighters like nothing. Got my star, salvaging back down our side, in the droid scrapping biz. You know what made me come up here? <laughs> One day, we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect, probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother Jed. He even had the same black jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jet and I weren't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. I tell you what, it's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Haul 
wonder if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. We were out. Object process. Credits deposited.
Valuable deposit. Credits transferred.
Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Okay. 
request accepted for processing. Salvage goal cleared. Rewards allocated. deposit. Credits transferred.
object. Applying credit to account. Object processed. Credit deposited.
Raw material accepted.
raw material deposited.
level has been achieved. License level increased. Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%, which is why it's so important to always give 110%. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. Thank you. 